At Montclair High School, the undefeated Mounties looking to improve to 7-0. They face their biggest test of the season. The Pirates of Seton Hall Prep come to town. Get ready for a serious shootout. We pick this one up midway through the first 7-7 game. That's Taryn Earl. Keeps it himself. Earl is hit hard. The ball comes loose. Seton Hall Prep comes up with the fumble recovery. And that would lead to this. Zach Hoban from 33 yards out. It's good to go. 10-7. And it would be the first and only lead of the game for the Pirates. That's because Montclair got a dynamic performance from Danny Webb. First game back from an injury. He's looking pretty good after that injured ankle. Webb, 77 yards. His second touchdown of the game. The Mounties take the lead back. It's 14-10 Montclair. And then Montclair driving again. Taryn Earl. Great patience to Joshua Crawford. Crawford out of bounds inside the five. And then the give is to Willie Matthews. Matthews in the zone. Two-yard touchdown. It's 21-10 Montclair in front. Seton Hall Prep has a very dynamic offense. Cameron Carty's a good QB. Here he finds Matt Colin Tuono. He's drilled. The fumble is recovered by DJ Williams. Montclair is back in business. Great field position. And that allows Earl to find Joshua Crawford. He extends over the pylon. Touchdown, Montclair. An 11-yard scoring play makes it 28-10. And Joshua Crawford got it done on both sides of the ball. Here's Crawford with a big-time hit right there. Seton Hall recovers the fumble, but they've got to punt it away. And so now it's Danny Webb time again. Webb committed to play Division I football at West Point and Army. Look at him go. Danny Webb, his third TD of the first half, 35-10 Montclair in front. But Seton Hall prep would not go away easy. Cameron Carty to his favorite target, Andrew Perez. That is a fantastic catch. Diving in the zone, six yards, makes it 35-17. But Seton Hall prep had no answer for this high-powered offense of Montclair. Taryn Earl up top, Charles Murphy Jr. That's a beautiful catch right there. 30 yards. The Mounties once again come up with a great play we've seen the Montclair offense defense how about special teams on the ensuing kickoff that's John Alletta oh my goodness what a hit that was and before the half comes to a close Earl to Charles Murphy Jr. again this one's for 75 yards at the half Montclair with a 49 to 24 lead we're going to fast forward to late in the third. It's a 49-31 game, and Danny Webb, watch him get to the edge, and you're about to see something special. Danny Webb by 97 yards. Oh, my goodness. Fourth touchdown of the game for Danny Webb. This makes it a 56-31 game. Seton Hall Prep was just trying to keep up, and they put up some big offensive numbers of their own. This Andrew Perez is the real deal. Look at those moves right there. That is a fantastic touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Perez breaking tacklers, a 33-yard scoring play. That made it 56-38. And then Cardi back to Perez on third down. Keeps a drive alive, and Andrew Perez had an unbelievable game. Cameron Carty, Andrew Perez. He's a good route runner. So we got a 12 point game in the fourth. It's 56 44. But Montclair would slam the door shut. Ty Sean Williams with the interception right here. And Williams is gone. 79 yards on the pick six. That made it 63 to 44. And so there you have it. That's your final score. 107 points in Montclair on Saturday afternoon. Daniel Webb had 22 carries for 342 yards and four touchdowns. The Montclair Mounties are now 7-0 on the season. After the game, our Alex Lorenzo with post-game reaction as he talked to Danny Webb about his electrifying performance. 
Thanks a lot, Rich. Running back Danny Webb looked just fine on Saturday afternoon after returning from an injured ankle, and Webb told me his team wanted to come out and make a statement that they were amongst the best public schools in all of New Jersey. Well, statement made. And after the game, I caught up with the West Point commit talking about Montclair's big home win. Uh, exciting, um, tiring, but exciting at the same time. Um, it's, it's, it's not as boring as just we scoring and them going up. Like I said, Seton Hall is a good team, so it was expected. Well, this was a statement game. We were, we were trying to prove that we are the best public school. We are Montclair. Montclair football does what Montclair football does. So yeah, it was a big game for that. And um, just like set, setting a message to, to the playoffs, like we're coming. Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Alex Lorenzo.